And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Little Monster. Uh, actually, the full name is The Little Monster That Came for Lunch and Stayed for Tea. <laughs> this is a game from Strawberry Studios who makes clever little small games uh, geared towards families. This one, I would say, is definitely geared towards kids. It's a race game in which you have little monsters running around a table eating food as fast as they can. Here's how it plays. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to get two monsters. So I might get Teresa and Martin, and there's all sorts of monsters in here. So after you take out two for each player, the monsters that you don't use are going to, or you're going to take four of the monsters you don't use, and you're going to build a track, a race track here in the, on the, in the middle of the table. Essentially, players are going to be taking the monsters that they have and putting them here and you're going to be racing around going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going home. First person to get both their monsters there is the winner of the game. Players are gonna start with some cards from this food deck. Each of these cards is a number at the top and a special ability on it. And at the start of your turn, if you have a monster that gives you a special ability, like for example, Teresa says, before the start of the first turn of the game, Teresa moves one space forward. So, boom, she moves one space forward. But then you're going to draw a food card into your hand. So maybe I draw one here. And then you can play cards, but the total has to be 15 or higher. So let's say, for example, I play these three cards. And I'm going to feed one of my monsters. So here I have a total of 16. After I play them, my monster is going to be able to move one forward. So let's say I play them on Jeffrey here. So Jeffrey has a special ability that says, when feeding Jeffrey, if you play at least two food cards with the same value, he moves an extra space. Well, I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna move Jeffrey uh, one space forward. There he is. Then, I, I can't be above 15, so I take one of the cards and turn it face down. So maybe I'll turn down this to two. Am I below 15 now? I am. So then I can activate the special abilities. This one says any two monsters move one space forward or any one monster moves two space forward. I'm going to take Jeffrey and move him two spaces forward. And then the other one says all monsters on one space move one space forward. Hey, I'm going to pick Jeffrey again. Now if I had kept the two, the two would have been discard two food cards and then each of your monsters moves forward one space. So there's all sorts of cards in a deck that you'll be able to play. And if you, know, you can, if you have more than 15 food in your hand, by the way, the game says if you have a value of 30 in your hand, you have to move a monster. But if you have enough to feed both your monsters, you can. Your slowest monster moves for one space. The fastest monster moves back one space, which is going to affect Jeffrey since he's winning right now. Any one monster moves back one space. So you're going to be playing these cards and utilizing them. You need 15 or more to move one space, but then they can cause all sorts of effects to happen. As soon as you reach the finish line, you'll pull the monster off and place the monster on their card. The first person to do that with both of their monsters is the winner. So the biggest thing in this game is the artwork on the tiles and the cards. They're cute little monsters. This is kind of a, a shtick with Strawberry Studios. And, you know, that's going to attract especially kids to it. I mean, this one looks like an ice cream cone. And this guy looks like chocolate. Hmm, many of them look like some kind of food or what have you. The cards themselves, this is, you know, typical food. They're drawn well, and they're good quality cards. It's pretty easy to understand. Unfortunately, that does not apply to the rule book. For such a simple game, there's a few major things that it does not explain, like this makes it sound like you have to feed a monster each turn, which would be impossible most of the time, uh, but it's not clear about that. And also, it makes it, I, I, there was like a, a few FAQ questions online that should have been in here. I just felt like this could have been better written for how simple the game is. Uh, everything fits in this box, which is frankly way too big for the game, since the game is literally just some cards and these tokens. But, you know, other than that, I do like the artwork and everything else is good. It's a very simple game. 
and it's a lucky game in many regards, and it's a take that game. But I think it works well for kids. It has a little bit of, it reminds me a little bit of a game that's silly and stupid, but I love it, and that's called uh, the, the Magical Athlete, which is a game in which you have these racers running around a track and smacking each other and moving around, and it's really, really ridiculous, and I love it. This one is not quite as good as that, but I played it with kids, and I think therein lies where the strength of this game is. I think adults could play this, right? But I think they'll find it a little too random. The kids enjoyed it. And I like the concept of you got to count to 15 with these cards. You add them together, get over 15, but then you got to flip cards to make it go below 15. That's kind of a slightly wonky mechanism, but it helps kids say, okay, I need to play, get at least 15 to move the monster space. And then I need to turn over a card. Which card will I turn over to make it go below 15? Or if I'm lucky, I can play exactly 15. Then I don't have to turn any cards over at all. Great concept. I like that. And then after that, it's like, okay, well, usually you'll move the person in the lead back and help yourself out. Sometimes you make a choice, like it says move any two monsters forward one or move one forward two. What are you going to do? You don't want your monster to be too far in the lead or people are going to move them back. When you move all the monsters in one space forward, Sometimes you got to help other people to get yourself, and, and, and that works. Then the fun theme of the monsters and the food. So for kids, I think they'll enjoy this. It's also not too long, 20-minute game, teaches counting, fun, artwork. That's like a winner for kids. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.